Volker's new skin, baby. Woo! Fucking hell. Skin review. We're doing the skin review. Okay. I feel like a child, dude. Holy shit. Pog new skin, 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 pog as a hype. Look how good he looks. Look at Sion. Look at Sion. Holy fuck. Just. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen to the sound effects. Listen to the sound effects. Oh! That frost, man. That 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 packed snow. You, you can you can hear it. It's so damn good. You, you can feel the, like the, the ice, just the, the glaciers fucking cracking and oh. How sick is this, man? I, I literally said, someone asked me which skin you would like to see. I said, the blue scheme is really bad. We don't have a really good blue skin. Pool party is a good fix for blue, but it would be more teal. It would be like a nice, but you need royal blue. Royal blue. So world ender or black frost. And now we get fucking black frost. How good is this? Oh. Oh, I can't wait to spend money on this company. I can't wait to spend money. Woo! April Fools. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 no, no. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Who said that? Who said it in chat? Ban him. Fuck. No. It fits the Freljord so much. It, it connects to the lore as well. It's so beautiful. It's so good, man. I, like, I've been waiting for this. I literally had dreams. I had dreams of waking up. And opening opening my Instagram or Twitter and seeing a preview skin, and particularly when they released the well, the Alistar Rexai, I think that that was a Black Frost section. Alistar Rexai, one another, like that Rexai on the preview looked exactly like Velkos. And I, when I was opening it up on my phone, I was like, what? That I zoomed in, it was like fucking Rexai. And now I like I get the exact same fucking uh, feeling that I almost had back then. God, it's so good. Feels good, man. The visual design blew me away. The, the sound effects. Listen to the sound effects. Like, what more do you want? I, I'm curious. Like, that the stacks are a little bit um, much like the infernal. The stacks are a little bit uh, difficult to perceive. They're probably gonna do some changes with this, I imagine. Look at the stacks. That's one stack. That is two. See, it's very, it's very tiny. So. I imagine they're gonna do some something with that. There's Lissandra. Okay, so this, this is why it fits the theme. There's the Lissandra, and this is the Watcher. This is the Watcher from Legends of Runeterra, and also Watchers basically like created Velikos and sent him to the world. And th there's that sequence with the Rise cinematic where the Rise is traveling through Freljord, I think, looking for some runes and shit, and then a Watcher kind of appears through like the the the, the Frost. How good is this, man? Like, you can just feel enough a little bit of void from it. Yeah, the Watchers will return. I, I, I can't wait for Watchers to return on this realm and just destroy everything. Yeah, he resembles the Watchers. Oh, it's so good. Terrifying. Uh, is there anything else? Any other pieces in, this, in the splash art that we're missing? No, it's pretty much just Lissandra being in awe from this monstrosity. That has unfolded itself like in front of her. Just look at this. Oh. Imagine looking at like, the, this creature. Dude, just disintegrate me already. I'm ready. And you know, you know when Riot does MMO, there has to be something with this. Ooh. Oh my god, I will be addicted to Riot games for 20 years. Fuck. I've been playing them for over 10 and I thought it's too much. When MMO comes, I'm going to be playing that and cosplaying Void and just... Ah, they're going to lock me in for 20 years, I swear. Okay, we got the spotlight. Let's go skin spotlights. Come on, show me something good. Ah, that's Splash Art. You can hear the frost even with the auto attack. But the abilities are just so cool. Okay, uh, the the stacks look better here. The stacks do look better, more visible. 
than on the original preview. Okay, they already changed it. Or it was due to target because target was tiny, so it looked tiny, I don't know. Wait, you got the quality of life circle? Whoa, you actually get a circle for seven seconds. I was counting that in my head always. Like I had this internal timer knowing seven seconds when you proc true damage on someone. What? They have to update this on every skin now. Because you're gonna have this if you, like, you know you're dealing true damage to them. That's insane. Whoa. Okay. Pay to win, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah! Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Poor chickens. They got frostbite. It looks so good that the whole wind going around them, man. It looks so good. See, that was true damage purely on the first one. The second one, it wasn't. Now it's on the first two. Now it's on the third one. Ah! The quality of life changed, man. It makes every other skin, like, not, not good as this one. Just burn them all. This is so good though. Oh, that's the crit. That's the crit animation. <laughs> I know, don't ask me how do I know. <laughs> that's death animation. Eyeball plops up. Leaves the body, okay. We get Chromas! Wait, we actually get Chromas! I didn't think so. I didn't think we we're gonna get Chromas actually. Holy fuck. We get legit black Valkus, we get the, the, the silvery one, the golden, the light blue, the, 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 the emerald. Oh, purple, red. Oh, this is insane. Look at them all jiggle together. Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. Not playable on PV yet? Nah, don't worry about it. Wow, I didn't know we were gonna get Chromas. I thought it was just a only, only frosty boy. You, you.